Before getting into application problems, let's practice derivative for tangent functions. Here we have two of them, y equals to tan 2 theta and y equals to tan square x. So as you know, derivative of tan theta is actually secant square theta, right? So let's start from there. We have a video on that, so you can look into that also. Derivative means differentiating with respect to the variable. Now in this case, the variable is theta, and therefore it's very important for us to write dy over d theta. Normally we write y dash without even knowing we are differentiating with respect to what? It is the function. We are trying to find independent variables. So differentiate with respect to independent variable, which is theta in this case. So dy d theta is d d theta of tan 2 theta, right? Now that is to say the derivative of tan 2 theta should be what? You know, derivative of tan x is secant square x. Now that x is actually 2 theta. So we have to multiply that by 2 theta derivative also. So we can write this as secant square 2 theta times d d theta of 2 theta, correct? And then that's the chain rule. Then we get secant square 2 theta times derivative of 2 theta is 2, right? So that gives us the answer that is 2 secant square 2 theta, right? Well, you could have written it straight also, but I wanted to show you steps for once. Now here, let's do the second one. y equals to tan square x. So the derivative should be with respect to x. So we write dy dx, right? Equals to 2 times tan x times d dx of tan x. Now what is derivative of tan x? It is, so we use the power rule first, right? Now the function is tan x. So we have to find derivative of the function also. So we get 2 tan x and derivative of tan x is secant square x. So that is our answer, right? At times you may change it to sine and cosine and write down your answer in terms of sine and cosine, right? But this is good enough. So let's move on and do some more on trigonometric ratios.